by uh, we repeat very foolish conflicts or war or cause natural disasters or something like that. So uh, without uh, activating our DNA, uh, there's no way for us to uh, uh, save this world, to change the world to the better place. And uh, water uh, is the key to activate DNA because water is the interdimensional matter. That's profound. <laughs> That's profound. Yeah, and it continues. Okay. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> So, so that's true that uh, water is the interdimensional matter. Uh, however, for some reason, uh, studying water or knowing this truth about water uh, has been regarded as taboo, and uh, they never uh, put uh, this knowledge in uh, in a uh, in an educational system. Uh, but water uh, always tell us that we need to have harmony in it. And uh, every person uh, has to harmonize energetically. But uh, it is uh, not easy for us to uh, spread this truth because the people in power do not like uh, us to know this truth. The people uh, with power are have been trying to control uh, all the knowledge about water. That is why uh, we have uh, disaster and uh, floods. Uh, once again, uh, water is the only matter that can transfer uh, vibration. The path uh, to uh, the divine or divinity also uh, needs to have vibration. And because water uh, is the matter to uh, transfer vibration, uh, uh, we should utilize it. And uh, the finer uh, the water is, uh, the better uh, that can uh, transfer uh, vibration. So uh, using uh, water, we can uh, transfer uh, this uh, important information to uh, anyone on this planet. So, for example, what about our drinking water? How do we clean our drinking water? There's all these different technologies out there. There's Kagan water machines. There's all these water machines that are being sold. They're very expensive. They're three to $5,000 a unit. There's new types of pipes that circulate the water. What does Dr. Emoto feel about those machines? I have been asked this kind of question everywhere in the world, uh, but usually I refrain from making uh, any comment on uh, any specific water purifier or machine uh, because <laughs> I don't like to create any enemy in the industry. I had a feeling that you would answer that way, and I respect that and I understand. I know that there is a body of work whereby there's this paradigm that water came to earth from outer space and that if water has come from outer space, that it is imbued with intelligence. And I want to know why Dr. Emoto accepts that. I think it's interesting, but I want to know why he accepts that view. What excites him about it? Uh, first of all, all of us know that water... Uh, is a very mystical matter, you know. No one can find out uh, the true nature of water. Uh, so uh, science on this planet cannot figure out yet what the water really is. For example, uh, water can uh, dissolve anything. And uh, when water becomes in its solid form, it should be heavier but ice cube uh, floats in a liquid water. And uh, another example is that when water uh, gets into the tree trunk, it can uh, rise up against the gravity. And uh, water uh, becomes uh, the heaviest uh, when the temperature is four or degree Celsius. Although, uh, uh, there are so many mysteries about water like this. Uh, uh, water uh, is the sustenance of our life. 
something like water, which uh, cannot be understood uh, fully uh, with the earth science or earth physics, cannot be originated on this planet. And uh, when I was thinking about uh, this, about that, uh, I just happened to uh, read uh, the book uh, entitled uh, Water Planet, uh, written by Louis Frank of Iowa University. Oh, I'm sorry. The title is Water Planet is Born. Okay. Uh, and uh, Dr. Uh, Frank uh, is or used to be a member of NASA. Uh, and uh, this book tells uh, how uh, water uh, came to this planet from the universe. How fascinating. And actually, NASA itself made an announcement that water came from uh, the universe in 1997 but uh, it was uh, only uh, one announcement, and uh, <laughs> they never... <laughs> <laughs> it went away into obscurity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next day after this announcement, all of the uh, scholars and uh, researchers in the world were against uh, this theory. Uh, because uh, if uh, this theory uh, becomes common sense in the society, uh, many, many people uh, would lose their job because all the theories' bases uh, would go upside down. Does he feel the same way about DNA, that DNA came from outside the Earth to the Earth? Yes. Because there's a very well-known scientist that passed away that felt the DNA was brought to Earth or came to Earth, and it didn't just exist here. It was brought here. I agree uh, that theory as well. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, I wanted to uh, contact uh, Dr. Frank so badly. Uh, so about five years ago or so, I contacted Iowa University but it was impossible to contact him. Uh, he was not working there anymore, and uh, they didn't know where he went. He, uh, they said uh, uh, he might uh, have been hospitalized or something. If he's alive, I'll find him. <laughs> Rest assured, if he's alive, I'll find him. Wonderful. I really hope uh, he's still uh, well. That would be a beautiful interview with him. Yes. I have a question about Nabu Shioa, Dr. Emoto's master, and I wondered if he would be willing to talk about his relationship to his master and what he's learned from him. Dr. Shioa uh, has already passed away at the age of uh, 106. Uh, wow. But there are so, many, uh, so much influence that I uh, got from him. I believe that uh, he is a reincarnation of Lao Tzu of China. So uh, after the Second World War, uh, he often used to uh, hold uh, this uh, channeling session or channel channeling uh, gathering, and uh, spirit uh, would uh, come down uh, through a medium, and uh, they talk uh, about uh, uh, many things and. Uh, in that uh, channeling session, uh, uh, they said uh, Dr. Shioya uh, was the uh, reincarnation of Lao Tzu. He was a medical doctor, and uh, he was the private doctor of late Japanese uh, empress, the wife of Hirohito. He had a really, really prominent breathing method and an affirmation ability that Dr. Emoto talked about, and I wondered... Did Dr. Emoto learn that breathing method? Yes, uh, I learned uh, the breathing method and also this affirmation uh, called grand invocation is uh, very powerful. So uh, I try to spread this around the world in Japanese. There's a professor, is it Hore Van Dok from Vietnam? He was a Vietnam professor. And he taught that people use 30% of their abilities, but if we could increase our abilities by 1%, according to his formula, we would double the amount of energy we have. What does that mean? How is that possible? Yes, uh, you have done your homework very well. I'm so amazed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this doctor, <laughs> Juan Van Duke, uh, is from Vietnam. 
And what I learned from him is uh, how to interpret uh, this uh, equation of uh, Professor Einstein, uh, E equals mc square. So uh, I think it was some kind of uh, misunderstanding, uh, you know, or 